What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Little Gentleman. And for all y'all that want a piece of One Piece, welcome to Wano Peace. Haters get mad when I Luffy, boss up, who's he? Haters get mad when I Sanji, kicking it like Jet Li. Haters get mad when I Nami, that money come find me. Haters get mad when I Zoro, cut checks like Koro. Before we even start this video, I want to give a shout out to the Wano Peace Pirate Crew. If you want to join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew, hit that subscribe button below. Do it! Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wano underscore Peace for Wano Peace memes, Wano Peace channel updates, One Piece cosplay, and One Piece fan art. This week, we are recapping chapters 381 through 390. These chapters get intense, boy. But look, check it out. So we started off. Nami, she uses the Thunderbolt tempo on the Marines and she like causes a big cloud and strikes everybody with lightning. It also hits a few of the other people that are on her team too, but it gets a lot of Marines out of there. The Galley La defeat the Hubantai, right? The Hubantai, they got these claws and they're riding on wolves. Um, once this battle started in this next section, they um, stabbed Pauly, but this was the perfect revenge. The perfect revenge was them being able to defeat the Huantai. Paul is still alive, but you know, they got him like right here. Everything they're doing, the Galila, the Frankie family, and the Straw Hats is to get closer to where the CP9 are holding Frankie and Nico Robin. Now, we switch back. Spandam's talking to Frankie and Nico Robin. And he's explaining to Frankie that the reason that Iceberg worked with the world government is so that he would then become untouchable because he's such a valued member of the world government by producing ships for them, they wouldn't go in turn try and kill him for the blueprint. Now what happens is eventually they get the okay to kill him because the CP9 is on the case. Now see the thing I'm wondering about Spandam, Spandam is saying some real problematic things like he's saying that he'll have the power to rule any civilization he's not saying the world government he's saying he himself and i don't know if the cp9 is really on the same page as him being the leader spandam is not the one that they're going to follow they're following the world government because they have a sense of justice and they'll do whatever it takes to achieve justice but spandam seems to be thinking that he can take this power for himself Now, in Innie's lobby, there are 10,000 Marines there that the Straw Hat Pirates, Frankie Family, and Galileo are facing off against. And there's only 60 of them all together. Intense battle. Bueno says that the, the world government is made up of 170 countries, you know, give or take. But 170 different countries make up the world government. And by attacking Innie's lobby, they have directly attacked the world government. So now the world government is probably gonna raise their bounty and come after them even harder. So, Bueno opens up a door portal next to Luffy. He's supposed to be guarding this next place, the place before they get to the CP9. And he gets there and Luffy is able to punch him in the stomach. Now, it's an it's crazy because these guys, they can like harden their bodies to the point where they can't get hurt. But Luffy was able to punch through all of that, break straight through it. It's getting intense. Luffy is obviously stronger than he was on the train. He's obviously stronger than he was in Water 7. So now when we switch back, a mortar hits uh, Sodom in the heart, Sodom the Bull in the heart. He dies and now they're down to just Gamora. Gamora is still trying to help them get closer to where they need to be. Soj King never got on the bulls, right? So they're wondering where he is. Some of them are kind of worried, but at the same time, they have a mission. They don't have time to worry about that. Now, he ends up talking to one of the giants, and the giants are only working with the world government because they believe that if they work for 100 years, their two bosses will be set free. But Soj King tells them that, hey, they're not. He tells them, I know their names. And I know where they are. They're on Little Island and they're not working. They're not in Impel Down. They're not in the world government jail. So what you need to do is like the government lied to you. 
So once the Giants find out the world government lied to them, they switch sides and start attacking the Marines. There's this group of people called the Guilty Jurors, and they look like executioners. So I'm assuming, uh, based on what the three-headed Baskerville said, he's a three-headed judge, he said that they always, they used to be pirates, and now they just always want to take people down with them, the jurors. So basically, it's always guilty, guilty, guilty. There's never been a chance. Nobody's ever been seen as innocent. So that's why people never return once they, once they get to Amy's lobby. Now, Spandam, Spandam ends up giving Keiku and Karifa the devil fruit. So that's going to be intense. Whatever their powers are going to be, we're going to see those soon. And... um. I'm excited to see what powers they get because you never really know. I don't think, as far as we've come in the story, there's no way to just be able to tell what devil fruit power you're gonna get. Also, you're only allowed to have one devil fruit at a time or else you explode. That's what uh, one of the CP9 members said. The three-headed Baskerville, he has three heads, just like Cerberus, the three-headed dog that Hades used to guard the underworld, if you ever, seen in Greek mythology, there's a three-headed dog that guards the gates of hell. I think what Oda is trying to do here is say that these are the gates of hell. Eni's lobby is the gate of hell, gate leading to hell. So they got 10,000 people guarding plus three-headed Baskerville, the judge, to guard the gates of hell. Because after this, you have Impel down and you have another jail that no one ever comes back from. So yeah. The Frankie family end up holding three-headed Baskerville off while the Straw Hat Pirates get closer to where Luffy is um, so that they can get to Nico, Robin, and Frankie. So Luffy and Bueno are having a battle. Everyone has to take the steps to get to where Luffy is because Luffy can stretch. He's on top of the building fighting off against, facing off against Bueno. So they're fighting. Bueno can't hit Luffy. They're kind of like, Luffy's finally able to dodge his attacks, the uh, Suro attack. So he's dodging Blano's attacks and he's able to hit Blano and Blano is just kind of confused. Luffy says like, yo, I've been watching you. I've watched what you've been able to do and I've learned your techniques. He also said that after he faced off against Admiral Aokiji, he had to get stronger. And then he pops out gear second or gear two. And it's like, what? He is this man with a gum gum jet pistol. He like holds his hand out and it's like some kind of attack that comes out of his hand that messes Bueno up. Then he hits Bueno with a gum gum jet bazooka. And that's it. Bueno does the so slow motion fall down thing with his eyes roll back to his head. And it's over. Luffy put the whooping on Bueno. Now these new techniques used a lot of energy. But good thing with Luffy is because uh, his body isn't used to it yet. He has some chicken or some type of meat in his pocket and ate those real quick. And now he's got his energy back and ready to face off against the CP9 again. Now, when this happens, the rest of the Straw Hat Pirates get to the top of where Luffy is. They take down the, the uh, guilty jurors and they get to where they are. And Luffy's like, yo, Robin, you need to come back. And she's like, no, Luffy, I don't want to do it. He said, well, we're here anyway. And um, if you really want to die that bad, you can die after we rescue you. So they're going to try and attempt to rescue her. But that's where these chapters end. Let me catch you up on the short comics. So Hina the Black Cage puts out a note that says, hey, if you guys want to rescue Miss Valentine, we're going to hang Miss Valentine uh, if you guys don't give yourself up. Talking about the rest of the Baroque Works officers. Are you yawning in the middle of this while I'm breaking it down? Huh? Did you hear what I said? Excuse me. So, Mr. Three is trying to escape, but he gets caught by Mr. Two. And it looks like Mr. Three is tied up and delivered to Hina the Black Cage. And then um, it turns out that it's actually Mr. Two posing as Mr. Three. And then he starts to fight. He takes down Django, he takes down Iron Fist full body. And now he's facing off against Hina the Black Cage. We'll find out what happens in the next 10 chapters. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite part of these 10 chapters. 
The Grand Line is a rough place. You're gonna need a pirate crew. So hit that subscribe button below and join the Wino Peace Pirate Crew. Thanks for watching this one. Peace. Lady, That's a lot of damage.